One of the new features in Illustrator CS6 is the ability to apply gradients to strokes. And I got to admit, the first time I heard about it, I thought, okay, um, what for? Why? It seemed like a gimmick. And I am starting to feel like this could level the playing field and allow some of us who aren't natural illustrators to begin to play the game. So you see right here we have three strokes and they are all stroke with a 40 point black stroke with a rounded end point. Select one of these and go into the swatches library down to gradients and pick something. And I'll pick something I haven't done because I've tried this a few times. And let's just see how the color harmonies work. So a split complementary. Um, we'll go ahead and close that up. What? Let's deselect and say, okay, well, you know, that's nice. But what happens when we change the way that gradient is applied? Because right now it's being applied within the stroke from one end to the other. What if we apply it along the stroke? How does that change? And then what if we apply it across the stroke? What happens then? Now, when you begin to do this with some of the metallic strokes and apply it across. I think you might start to feel like I did. What possibilities are there here that maybe we haven't considered? And what happens when, say, we change the line from uniform to variable width, change that profile? I just see this as potentially a game changer for the rest of us. What happens when, for instance, we use the width tool to begin to change the strokes profile? I don't know, but I start to see the ability to maybe build up illustrations out of strokes filled with gradients, some not so complex. And maybe that gives a new illustration technique birth. I don't know. But I am excited about the potential here. And I think that the user base is going to surprise Adobe with some of the creations that they come up with. I'm looking forward to sharing this with my, with my students as soon as we get the CS6 suite in the classroom. And I think this is going to be a game changer for some kids. Have some fun with this experiment, play around, share your results. Have fun.